Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know the last time we looked at TikTok takes on this channel, but we're doing it today. What does NBA TikTok have to say, man? Translation, we're about to let a lot of you cook. <laughs> we're about to let a lot of you cook, bro. LeBron faced more Hall of Famers in the finals than Jordan. Let's talk about it. Let's talk One about of the it. the arguments used against LeBron is his finals record and the fact that he has some losses. Mm. Well, let's actually look okay. at the full story because nobody likes to talk about competition. Okay. In Jordan's first finals appearance, he faced the Lakers, and they had three Hall of Famers. Magic Johnson, James Worthy, and Vladdy Divac. Okay. Sure. James Worthy had a lingering ankle injury from the previous series, and in Game 4, he re-injured it and was out for the rest of the finals. But oh. we're still going to be fair and use him for this video. Okay. Next up is one of the okay. driest teams ever make it to the finals. The Trailblazers, they're only Hall of <laughs> Famers. Not, too much, not too much on the Blazers. After that, man. he had the Suns. They only had one Hall of Famer and Charles Barkley. And then for okay. his fourth championship, he had the Sonics. They only had Gary Payton. Now, Sean Kemp is not a Hall of Famer. He might make it one day, but as of now, he is not. Hey, he going. And hey, then we all know he had me. John Stockton and Carl Malone. We okay. have to remember, he played this team twice. So individually, they each count as two because he played them two separate years. Mm, so in total, okay. that is 10 Hall of Fame opponents for Michael Jordan. Let's go ahead and look at LeBron. All right. So Talk. Right off the bat in 2007, LeBron had the Spurs. Tim Duncan, <laughs> Tony Parker, and Manu Ginobili. And yes, Tony Parker is a Hall of Famer. He's a part of the new 2023 class. After that, he had Dirk and Jason Kidd. And then for his <laughs> Jason <laughs> Kidd. Russell Westbrook and James oh, Harden. It. Yeah. The James Harden. Oh yeah, and you gotta count him. You gotta count him. Ah. Hold on, let him cook. Let him cook. Hold on, he, he he's right. Out, he's still sizzling. The butter melting. So he went on to play the Spurs. Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, Manu Ginobili, and Kawhi it. Leonard. He faced them two years back to back. And we all know he had those four years against the Warriors: Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and Draymond Green. Yeah. And we can't forget, they picked up Kevin Durant in free agency. So for two of those four years, we get Adam to the list. And then in 2020, he faced Jimmy Butler in the Miami Heat. That Jimmy's is 31 not. Hall of Famers compared to Jordan's 10. Now, I know what all you guys are going to say. What oh, are we going to say? James had more Hall of Fame teammates. Let's look into it. For every one of Jordan's championships, he had Scottie Pippen. So for six straight years, he won a championship with Scottie Pippen. For three of those six years, he had Dennis Rodman. If we count each year individually, that is nine Hall of Fame teammates for Jordan. In 2007 against the Spurs, LeBron had none. On the Heat for four finals, he had Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. And we can't forget, for two of those, he had Ray Allen. For his okay. first finals back on the Cavs, Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love were both injured, so he had nobody in 2015. For the next two years, he had Kyrie Irving until they traded him. And then for the next three, he had Kevin Love. And then AD okay. and Dwight Howard on the Lakers. Now that Dwight, huh? Yeah. Dwight. <laughs> He's cooking. What? He's cooking. He's I cooking. Know, I'm, I'm going to let... Got a couple more, but all right, man. 17 Hall of Fame teammates <laughs> hey, for nah, LeBron. Nice, because Melo was there. That's more than Jordan, but let's go ahead Same. and look at the ratio. Rondo Jordan there. had nine Hall of Fame teammates going up against 10. Ratios? LeBron had 17 going up against what? 31. Jordan had almost the same amount. LeBron had almost double the amount. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. That's where you're in. All right? L listen, I don't even think... Uh, listen... I agree with the fact that LeBron had harder finals matchups than Jordan. I don't even disagree with that fact. But it's just the way he went about it. This is an L argument. Because I ain't going to lie, one of, one of the toughest teams LeBron has faced were those Pistons teams where Rip Hamilton, Chauncey Billups, Ben Wallace, and Rasheed. Chat, please let me know how many Hall of Famers are on that team. I think Ben Wallace just made it, but he wasn't first ballot. And for the longest until like literally last year, that was a team with no Hall of Famers. But that's one of the... But that's one of the toughest teams that LeBron has faced. So what that tells me is that you can look at a team and say, yo, they might not have a lot of Hall of Famers, but this is still a great team. What if I just sat here today and shitted on LeBron solo squatting the Atlanta Hawks in 2015 because they didn't have any Hall of Famers? I would look silly. I would, I, I would look silly. So in the 05 finals when the Spurs and Pistons go seven games and... What what about it? What about it, bro? What about it, bro? Cause you just found out about that series right now, bro. Nothing, 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 
nothing, nothing, nothing, nothing, nothing. And you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? You, you, you work the angle so well. Them motherfuckers think I just didn't know the Pistons exist. Dog, I'm fucking around. Like, God damn. Like, I'm not going to act like I had the Tim Duncan discography down to core because I don't. There's no one <laughs> like, don't keep quizzing me. But no, nah, I didn't like, I knew about the Pistons. Nigga, I, I kept calling. You know how I knew about them? I kept calling them bad boys. I thought they was the, the bad. <laughs> you didn't I, know I, about. Dude. Stop, bro. I, I you I didn't know about the bad. <laughs> no, 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 stop, bro. No, 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 no. I'm, no, I'm saying let my truth. If I'm going to be cooked for being crazy, let my truth come out. Until YouTube, like before I did YouTube, all the years before that shit, I thought those were the bad boy pistons. I swear to God, I'm the so highest, uh, the highest, I swear, I swear, I was like, yo, and then one day, my boy talking about the bad boy pistons, he like, yeah, Isaiah Thomas, I'm like, who the fuck, what, huh? <laughs> Chauncey Billups? <laughs> Since 2000, I believe the NBA MVP voters have gotten it wrong six times. And here's what I would Here change. We go. Starting off in 2001, I believe Shaq should have won the MVP trophy over Allen Iverson. I think I agree. No offense to yeah, Allen Iverson, but he was extremely inefficient this season. Meanwhile, Shaq was a better defender, way more efficient like I just said, Pretty much better in every category, but points yeah. per game and steals. I do and he won the same amount of games. So in my opinion, Shaq definitely should have taken home this trophy. Yeah. Next, I have Dirk over That's Steve Nash in 2005. Dirk just destroyed Nash, both advanced stats and the conventional stats-wise this season. How many games the he was a way better seven? defender. Nash was a very, very nice no, no, poor no. defender. There, there were like a 61 honest, season. probably though. could have won without Steve Nash. I don't think he was very important to his team. Uh, the only thing Nash has going for him is his efficiency, which was only because he didn't shoot that much. And, uh, yeah, Dirk, I would even be fine with Garnett or Shaq here winning this MVP, just not Steve Nash. Now, that's crazy. I don't know if you heard that, Sage. You said, like, Steve Nash didn't really mean much to the Suns in 05. All right, bro. Like, hey, hey, I call Steve Nash a menace. I would have, you know, I'm biased as shit. I'm giving both to Kobe. But, damn. <laughs> really, though? Like, no reason? Like, he got the award, bro. Like, he's the whole winner. There was a reason, dog. Chill. That's why I always say, bro, I understand we have these critiques over media and how they vote. But I just I just can't believe that a lot of, like, NBA fans back then were, like, that dumb. I have more confidence in, like, our intelligence as a, as a human species. <laughs> That, like, we saw Steve Nash, and we saw something special that, like, oh, you know, that, that deserved MVP consideration damn near winning it. I, I just don't think we were that dumb, bro. I'll be genuine. I'm reading a comment. Yeah, he took a 21 team to 60. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. He, he mattered a lot. Next, I have Kobe over Steve Nash in 2006. True. Sort of the same type of thing as Nash's last MVP. I mean, the Suns probably could have been a good team without him. He was very efficient, Damn. but that's because he didn't shoot that much. Kobe literally carried a rec league team roster to the playoffs with 45 True. wins and averaged 35 points per game. So but I would also be fine with LeBron or um, Dirk winning this award this year. Again, just not Steve I wouldn't Nash. say Dirk, but Next, I, I have LeBron, LeBron over Kobe in 2008. Whoa, 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 whoa. What you got going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carried 18 yeah. Nah, to nah. the playoffs with 45 wins. Blood not cooking. He was also better Tuna. than Kobe in, like, actually, like, every stat you could think of. Like, it's very hard to find a stat. Kobe was better than LeBron in this year. Like, just, just go look. Fuck you. Um, He was also a better defender. But I'm glad Kobe got Fuck his you. MVP because he was snubbed earlier. So I guess it all evens out. But let's be honest, this was LeBron's trophy. <laughs> no, it no it wasn't, bro. <laughs> let's go back to 08. Let's go, back. bro. That wasn't LeBron's MVP trophy, bro. If anyone, Chris Paul. If yeah, anyone, yeah. Chris ass, Paul. But ass. Bron Oof. can't 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 go with Bron, dog. Can't go with Bron. Chris Paul made me fall in love with basketball that year. And I, I've told that story several times on the party. Like, Chris Paul made me fall in love with basketball, dog. What the fuck? I also think y'all undervalue what Kobe was doing before Pau Gasol came. The Lakers were cooking before Pau Gasol came. You know what I'm saying? So, and Kobe. Next, like this, I have this. LeBron over D. Rose in 2011. I'm not going to lie. This Common. one was pretty bad. I mean, I LeBron was a better scorer, better defender, better playmaker, and better rebounder. Yet, he still didn't win MVP. And it's not like he was losing. He had a similar record to D-Rose. But 
it is what it is. But I mean, this is just ridiculous. I, mean, I, I still is can't explain ridiculous? this. Is it ridiculous? And finally, Yo, what's the last correct guards, I have dog? is Harden over Giannis in twenty. Really? That Harden seems put up thirty-six a game this season while carrying the Rockets to fifty-three wins, while also being an above-average defender. Believe it or not. And I know Giannis put up a stellar defensive season and was great on the offensive end as well. That goes against but this season saying. from Harden was truly historic, and I think he ended up deserving it. He but just made his one eighty. What the so okay, fuck? okay. So now let's let's just go back to the beginning of the video and listen to this part again. What? Okay. Let's just starting off in two thousand. Let's just listen to this again. I believe Shaq should have won the MVP trophy. Why? Allen Iverson. Why? No offense to Allen Iverson, but he was extremely inefficient this season. Meanwhile, Shaq was a better defender, mm -hmm. way more efficient, like I just said, pretty much better in every category but points per game and steals, and he won the same amount of games. So in my opinion, Shaq definitely should have taken him. Huh. Well, ain't that some shit? <laughs> what the fuck? Huh? Yo, yo, the, the same the same way I, I've said this on several topics. It's a it's a common saying, bro. It, two questions. <laughs> niggas, niggas is really two questions from just cooked in an argument dog how he just in 4k i like james harden lowell's all right bro this series from memphis this game in particular game six you're down oh, 40 high points high this is yeah, an embarrassment this is, I'm about let, me, let me tell you this john moran he said i'm good in the west it's not looking so good now is it bro dylan brooks yeah bro no, LeBron doesn't no bro and then in the game the other pip day, pip eh time, lebron went to his left and scored the game winning bucket or the you thought she was a bad man on the left side eh dylan brooks, <laughs> you should be dylan brooks said i poke bears lebron's old i ain't got to respect him till he drops 40 on me now not only dylan brooks yeah. have you gone out and embarrassed yourself this series by being abysmal on the offensive side of the basketball defensively <laughs> you couldn't hold lebron they mm. had to switch xavier Tillman, the third straight Cook. center of the memphis grizzlies onto guarding lebron because you couldn't do it and you pride yourself Cook. on being a defensive player and then you get humiliated in the closeout game it's not even like mm -hmm. it's a close game you have been well and truly destroyed lost by 40 lost by 40. Dylan Brooks does poke bears, but he poked the wrong one. I ain't gonna lie. He poked the wrong one. It was the, the same. It's kind of like when SpongeBob poked Sandy Cheeks when she, you know what I'm saying? When she was trying to hibernate. <laughs> That's what it was, man. Poked the wrong bear. It's cool to poke bears, but hey, make sure you pick your battles. <laughs> no cap. I, I thought we did this in math class, man. Like, the, as you can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out, nigga. Stop playing with Braun, bro. Lakers in five. Should have been five. Got dumb lucky. It's all right. We got another game. Dean, go ahead and enjoy the uh, I don't know the sharks because hey, them motherfuckers said under any circumstance, <laughs> <laughs> yo ass backed up. And shout out RDC because I believe what they I believe that video, I believe that's canon. They, they probably went back there quoting each other. And Jaw was like, Yeah, get this, get this nigga gone, bro. He blowing it. I believe it. Dang, if I you God, told me there were going to be two 70 point games this NBA season, I wouldn't believe you. But brother Dame has completed that mission. The numbers he's been putting up this hey, season are just 70. unreal. It sucks because I can't even say that this is his best season. This man is literally dragging the Blazers to the playoffs. Oh, the game was crazy. This man had 71 and he did not need overtime. I'm sorry, Donovan, but they might forget about you. But y'all better stop playing with Dame's all-time ranking. This man is one ring away from Where being a top five point guard of all time. And I'm going to end off with this. I don't care how good you think Clyde Drexler is. Damian Lillard is, is the cooking? best blazer of all time. Is he cooking? True or false? Top five point guard with a ring? If Dame had a ring. Because obviously, obviously, I think he would even say he doesn't have one. So no. let, let, let's also do this. Can we get rid of the Lucas and LeBrons in this conversation? Just, you know what I'm saying? The 6'2", six, 6'3", six, guys, bro. Nah, nah, nah. The, can can nah, we not guard. include Jokic? Point guard. Come on, bro. Point guard. Jokic's point guard. Harden? Yeah. Stop. Yo, side note, I'm trolling. Like, I, I don't even want to do this bit because, God damn it, when I used to make lists, that shit used to piss me the fuck off, bro. Comment section of, who's not here, da 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 And I'm like, bro, he's in the next video when I do shooting guards, you son of a bitch. Bastard. But, um, nah, I mean, nah. With a ring, maybe. With a ring, yeah. with a ring, I can see it. With a ring, I can see it. I'll, I'll say this, though. I'll say this. 
Replace Steph with Dame. Two rings at stop, least. Stop, two rings at least. Oh I can't say God, two stop, rings at stop, least. Stop, 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 stop. I can't say two rings at least. I can't say two rings at least. Because that, that that no, because that that what? essentially because that essentially implies uh, the KD years a hundred percent. All right, so two rings at least. Okay, then I mean shit. Then I don't disagree with you. <laughs> as long as the KD, years. I think he wins twenty fifteen. Bron handled that. Bron got that. Bron got that. Bron got that. I tell you, I tell you right now, Braun is not going out. And you about to make me seem like a Dame hater, bruh. And that's not what it is. But especially 2015, Dame. Fuck no. Not even close, bro. Oh, 2015, Bron? Dame. All right, never yeah, mind. Yeah, what mind, are we mind, doing? Mind, yeah, mind. Nah, not even close, bruh. 2021, nah. Or 2022, 2022? nah. No, 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 no. See, oh, yeah, because that was the injury no, prone. No, that was the no, injury no, Dame. No. Okay, okay. That's what I'm saying, bruh. Time Dame gets the I saw you too. He get KD in them, but yo, we we gotta stop, it, man. And you 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 so, this nigga did turn heel, you bro. Curry Curry he he better than Dame, bro. Like it's okay to admit it. Like it, it is what it is. He's better than Dame. Sixty two. Remember how that started? <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, what Dame say? Curry Curry baby faced ass. <laughs> okay, in that next next game, sixty two. Like bro, he's weird. I'm not talking shit about the dude because he's weird. The Dame and CJ get hot. Oh, I was talking shit. I ain't gonna lie. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying this. I'm not, even, I'm not even saying Steph isn't better than Dame. I'm just saying you switch the two scenarios. There's gonna be a little difference. There's not gonna be much of a difference, bro. That's hey, hey, hey. hey, hey I'm just, hey. I'm just saying, man. I'm just man. saying, I'm saying, I don't know, cause that 2019 year when uh, KD was out and it was Blazers Warriors. I tell you this, you swap them. That series is way closer, way closer. I bar that now. I bought that now. Curry just ain't going home in, what was it, four or five? Yeah, ain't gonna lie, chat. I'm trying to troll right now. It's not working, man. Step over, Dave. <laughs> Step say, over. See? I can't do it, exactly, bro. Exactly, bro. I can't. I like, can't. What are you doing? I can't, no bro. Shot. It's no shot. It's no shot. Yeah, man. Yeah. The agenda was not pushed today, chat. I tried. <laughs> I tried. I'm going to fix the NBA All-Star Game. And this came to me after watching the And One documentary on Netflix. Course, you know, screw Salt Lake City on a Sunday nah, night. Look at the young rapper court. Bring it on okay. the road and put hey, on the show. Hi, what if we chose a different streetball court to play at every year? Obviously, it has to be in a warmer street location, ball but say street Atlanta. Ball. We go find this real beat-up old streetball street court. Streetball in Atlanta? Completely redoes it. Build this court specifically, I think we played on. You what the fuck? <laughs> Bleachers as many as it wants, gives out some free tickets to locals in the community, throws this incredible event. Think of all the camera angles, all the stories that can be done about players going back to their roots and how they started playing, and then afterwards the NBA gets to donate the new court to the city. Oh, you want hype and interest leading up to the event? Endless content can be made in anticipation of the game. How did they choose the city, the construction of the new court, interacting with the local boys it's and girls fine. clubs? Oh my god, the NBA impractic. gets to look so good in the process, come on! And now that I'm thinking about it, it doesn't even have to be outdoors, it can be indoors too. Maybe an old high school gym or forgotten old arena. Oh, just wait until they take this thing to Paris and Greece too. Bottom line, getting the players to try is a fool's errand. So let's try and make everything around the game so mesmerizing that the actual on-court product becomes innocuous. Okay, blood wasn't cooking until the very end i do agree with the notion that um getting players to try probably is never gonna happen so you gotta go some other route but i don't know about because one thing he forgot is celebrities attend all-star weekend type shit so yeah. you're asking a lot of celebrities to just go to it and i'm not saying i'm not saying it is all ignorant out there but you're asking a lot of celebrities to go places they probably never been a day in their life you're just asking that also it's again impractical for like all these players to just want to go to these uh courts and shit a lot of them would be down with it it sound good it's not a <laughs> shit idea it's just one of those that's like they they never do some shit like that if you think they're not trying now you think they're gonna dive on concrete that's what i'm saying yeah <laughs> like diving fuck? on concrete in a smaller audience and with a less clouded audience nah no shot. no shot that's my main thing yo bro how big of a high school are you building like <laughs> like yeah. Tens of thousands of people show up to these games for them to host it at a high school, a renovated high school, or like a renovated park. Maximum of probably like, what, 3,000 people? That's not going to be it. U ultimately, if, if your goal is to just make NBA All-Star Weekend to just be a networking event, essentially... That's what it is already, man. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's the solution for real. And I do think the the incentive of the charities and the 
per quarter scoring, that shit is working. It just wasn't good this year. But for the most part, it actually has been good. I don't know. I I like where All-Star Weekend is at right now. The dunk contest, eh, eh, but the the weekend is what it is, bro. Like, I, it's not a big deal to me anymore. And then there's a break for him, so I, I can only be too narky on how I want it to be because it's ultimately All-Star Weekend, All-Star Break, so they treat it as such. Steve Ballmer and the Los Angeles Clippers should force Kawhi Leonard to retire. I'm done. He needs to go home. Okay? So, I'm not in any way questioning the legitimacy of Kawhi Leonard's injury. A matter of fact, uh-huh. I'm fully embracing it. I've heard very, very alarming stories about his health. You see people talking about he's walking around all limping all the time. He is not a healthy Damn. individual. You I'm not go questioning out. his heart. I'm not questioning his courage. I'm not questioning any of that. The man's a two-time champion. He's a two-time MVP. I said it what? the other day, and I said it, and I regretted it only because we heard about some stuff that happened with his family, and I didn't know that was in the news and stuff like that. And I don't wish that enough. God bless you and your family, and I hope everything ends up well for right. everybody. But he is the absolute worst superstar you could possibly have on your team damn he's barely damn. ever there damn and on top of it all he does nothing to market or promote your franchise damn absolutely positive okay, that- he got 42 million this year him and paul george are making identical dollars to the penny 42 million in change this year 45 million in change next blood year. and then a player option at 48 million he couldn't go last year at all okay can go this year when it counted in the past, he couldn't go when it counted. Rob to Toronto telling them, don't look for me for more than 65 games. Didn't even give him 60 games. Hasn't given you at least 60 games in the season in at least the last four years, okay? Hey, and then the playoffs come, cooking? and this is the difference between him and a Paul George or various other people. We see them get hurt. We'll watch Kawhi drop 38 one game like he did in game one against Phoenix, 31 in game two, walk off the court, and then the next thing you know, Ty Lue gets a net. He ain't, he ain't available today. That shit did piss me that's, off this year. True. That shit did piss me that's off this year. I'm like, yo, game game two? Like, Kawhi is him. Kawhi, what is he going to do next game? Get a report. Kawhi Leonard is out for game three. Damn, okay. I mean, maybe he misses one game. Going to game four. Kawhi Leonard is out for the series. What the fuck? Huh, but what? <laughs> How? What? Out for the series? So, no, I, I get what he's saying. I will say this, though. I think they should move on. From the Kawhi and PG era, running it back one more year. What I I don't I don't know. One more year, maybe. If y'all want to run it back next year specifically, fine. I don't agree with Stephen A. saying that he should retire or force him to retire. I think that's a little od. But the concept of the Clippers moving on from this era and just chalking it up to the game. Yo, this experiment failed. We had. I can't even say they had a good year. They, they had twenty twenty. You know that twenty twenty one went. When when they made it to the conference finals and you know got got cooked, I guess that was a thing. I mean, it, it, it was an era. It was an era. It failed. It is what it is. Man, y'all lucky Luke ain't had one other All Star. This would have been one of the biggest failure projects of all time. Just y'all. Oh man, Luke almost solo squatted y'all twice, bro. Dog. I'm all toxic shit aside. I agree. They should pack it up. It's at this point you're wasting Kawhi's time, you're wasting Paul George's time. What's the West is time? strong. Yeah, the the West is stronger than it's ever been. So for you to try to push through that for at peak one to two years versus yeah, bro, we could just rebuild and retool when Curry's done, Bronze done. Like, like it's it's weird to think like this, but you gotta realize, like, yo, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, LeBron. At some point, there's gonna we're gonna wake up and they're not in the NBA. And when that happens, are you gonna be the team that Kawhi Leonard and Paul George are also out too, or are you gonna be the team that, hey, bro, we said fuck it, like we, if y'all got that shit. I don't, I'm not for teams being cowardly, so if you view it, view it that way, go for it. But I, I just think it's just not gonna work. And I think you're ignorant if you think it's going to work. But th- this is what I'm talking about, though, with the injury excuse getting lamer and lamer by the day. We are literally looking at a franchise that sees a repetitive injury history with Paul George and Kawhi, specifically when it matters the most, Man. right? They keep on doing it. They get injured in the playoffs. And now we're looking at the team that beat the Clippers and say, oh, but y'all were lucky that the Clippers weren't healthy. It's the Clippers' four fault for years. That's what, for four <laughs> years, bro. It's their fault. It, it is their fault for building around injury prone players. That's 
that's not my fault. You know, like that, that's not my fault. Like, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I, I know I can really troll and say, uh, like, yo, if the 2018 Celtics had Kyrie, Braun would have made the finals. But I don't do that because Braun is just beating and the Cavaliers just beat who the fuck is in front of them. It's not the Cavs' fault that the Celtics decided to trade away their best player for an injury-prone player and build around that dude. Like, that's, that's not, that's not Cleveland's fault. That's not LeBron's fault. So why would I, I don't know, man. That injury excuse just gets lamer and lamer by the day, dog. Yeah, it's, it's. It's, it's and it's it's to be fair, it's a look in the mirror. As a Lakers fan, funny enough, LeBron and AD ain't exactly not injury prone themselves. But we take it on the chin. We're like 2021. A lot of the fans do that cable shit. I don't. 2021, bro, that's on us. 20 uh 2022, that's on us. Now this year. <laughs> but the point the point is ultimately, bro, you cannot do that. That's like ideally, if you were a franchise, you said, fuck it, I want the best big man front court of all time type shit. Let me get AD and um Joel Embiid. The AD and Joel Embiid can't stay healthy together for one playoff run oh shit what could have been like duh <laughs> like come on bro you can't you can't drag it out for this long and then they're not even as young as ad and joel hey, yeah you gotta let it go but hey let me know your thoughts it was all the hot takes cooking i got a lot of tuna on my plate i don't even hate tuna why i say that but either way man comment below your favorite hot take comment below your hot take might react to them this has been your boy tso with my brother benjamin y'all take care and stay blessed